Hey guys, we are here at Cedar Park, Texas for the Rock and Rides Car Show. There's about 250, 300 entrants. Let's go find some of the really cool stuff today. I found another one of my favorite cars at the show here today, this Toyota Starlet. These things are wonderful because it's a small car, rear wheel drive, and this one looks like it's been set up for drag racing. It's actually one of my favorite cars I owned in 1982, and this thing is super clean. And you guys are never going to believe what's powering this Starlet. Not what I expected at all. We have got a 13B Mazda Rotary. How much horsepower does this car make? 603 horsepower. Wow, that's amazing. It's still early, but we've got a pretty good turnout so far. And the weather's cooperating, which is great. Well, here's something you don't see often, a spiker. These are very interesting cars. We got here is a Ford Fairlane 500 and as you may or may not notice this is a hardtop. This is one of the earliest retractable hardtops and this whole thing retracts into the trunk and these things were quite the mechanical nightmare. So here's a good demonstration of the Fairlane 500 hardtop and the midway position between being up and being put into the trunk. It's quite the mechanical feat of engineering and I believe one of the first retractable hardtops. So guys, you're going to be amazed what I found. We've got a 1991 GMC Cyclone here. This truck is all-wheel drive, 280 horsepower. It does 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds, which in 1991 was beyond supercar territory. The only drawback with these trucks is they can only carry about 500 pounds payload, and it's not set up to tow anything. But this is an amazing vehicle. Well guys, I've personally never seen a Wienermobile in person and this thing is just glorious. It will be so much fun to tour the country in a hot dog on wheels. Think of all the attention you attract and check out these windows. The view from the inside of this thing would be totally epic. All right, let's take a quick tour of the Wienermobile here. Look at this thing. This is really cool. There's quite a few seats in here. Imagine taking this thing for a tour. Now, I was told that I cannot sit in the driver's seat, so I will abide by that rule. Well, guys, I always said a car show is always going to the parking lot because that's where you'll find sometimes some of the most interesting things. I don't think I've ever seen a Mazda RX-3 SP in person. Definitely seen RX-2s and RX-3s, but oh, man. And now I'm getting a private tour with my chauffeur, Sean Jones, the promoter of this show. If it wasn't for him, guys, none of this out here, Austin, Texas area, would happen. And make sure you check out rockandrides.org. I think one of the best things and the most constant conversation I have with people at car shows is that we car guys, car gals, whatever, 
we love automotive stuff left and right. So it usually doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you have, but it's the anticipation of coming to an event like this, seeing what people built, what they brought, and we just enjoy all the different varieties of stuff out there. And this event is no different because it's such a variety of different vehicles, people, and it's just super enjoyable. Well guys, despite this somewhat gloomy weather, it is a really good turnout. If you can do me a favor, help me spread my videos to other people, make this channel more successful. If you could hit that thumbs up button and share this video with a friend, I would greatly appreciate it. And in just four weeks, I am heading over to Thailand. I'll be making all sorts of crazy automotive, food, and travel content. So make sure you subscribe and follow me along in my adventures. All right, guys, if you watch enough of my videos, you know how much I love BMWs. And this is a 2022 BMW M5 CS in frozen Brands Hatch Gray. I would hands down daily drive this thing. It is just so sublime. It's gorgeous. If you're looking for a princess party or if you're looking for any kind of costume type event, these are your people. This is Perfect Parties by Lucinda, and I will put the link down below in the description. So if you're in the Austin area, make sure you check them out, and they are wonderful performers. You want something really crazy? Check out this Cadillac. You have no idea what kind of engine is in this thing. It looks like some kind of a giant diesel power plant. If you know, please tell me in the comments down below. This thing is just crazy slammed. Well, here we have an interesting contrast. We have the old Toyota FJ and the new Toyota FJ. Which do you guys prefer? Really beautiful old Corvair, probably like a 65, 66. I'm not a muscle car Corvair expert, but I love this car. Now, a lot of people don't realize that these were rear-engined and air-cooled. That's good scale right there. We'll leave the little kid. He's petting the tire. Just really in love with his Dodge Dart. I don't think I ever thought in my life I would say those words, love and Dodge Dart, in the same sentence. But this thing here, I love it. All right, I'm not really sure what kind of a kit car this is. It's labeled as a Ferrari, but it's obviously not a Ferrari. I'm going to guess it's a stretched VW bug chassis with a VW motor. Well guys, I'm definitely getting my fill of trucks while I'm still here in Texas. Like I said, next month, I'm gonna be traveling through Thailand, Southeast Asia. I will not be seeing monster trucks like this. I'll be seeing diesel Isuzu's and a lot of drag race trucks. Well, if you guys saw my Dripping Springs car video, you've seen this black 1969 Charger before. I just spoke to the owner and he told me that this car has just 51,000 original miles. It's triple black and it's like 98% original. This car is absolutely pristine, immaculate, mean.
guys, that's going to wrap up another wonderful car show here in Texas. Hope you enjoyed it. And pretty soon I'll be bringing you some amazing content from Thailand, travel, food, and automotive. So if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell. And until next time, as always, don't forget to take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.